What's going on guys? This is Miasina and welcome to the Zhang Yang testing video. I actually played a lot of mirror matches uh, today. That's kind of crazy, but this deck is so incredibly good that even against anyone, you still always have the ability to win. This deck, I want to say, is a guaranteed to be tier 1 because it can easily combo with 1-2 cards and of course the more cards you have, the better you can play. It can fit in a bunch of utility cards like hand traps, back removal, stuff like that. Side deck cards are also pretty nice, so if you're going after uh, like post game 1 against Flunderies, you can put in like Master Restrict and stuff like that. And they kind of just can't play the game at all. So yeah, before we start into this video, make sure you like and subscribe, it really motivates me a lot to keep making videos like these, and let's jump right into it. So replay number one, actually playing against a mirror, my opponent has double Veiler and Imperm, that's really insane, but again, is it enough to stop me? Uh, we're actually gonna see. So I'm going to make my uh, my level 10 Synchro here, Baroness de Fleur, and then I'm going to make my opponent lose 1200, and then I'm going to reveal, I'm gonna get Veilered, unfortunately Baroness de Fleur has to negate, but I get Veiler again, which is kind of frustrating, so all I really have is the trap card that kind of is like an Icarus attack and I have to pass by the way this card has to destroy two cards it's not up to two cards which kind of sucks sometimes but yeah at this point my opponent has access to Vishuda and can bounce back my trap which is kind of frustrating so I kind of I'm, I'm just like you know what I might as well destroy them but unfortunately this card is very frustrating I have to Valor it and fortunately that is enough so I'm like mm, should I use the effect to revive back and I was like you know what Let, let's just do this uh, so I'm, use the, I'm using the effect and he's not using Imperm because I banished the, lo the trap so even if he did I still would have the token and yeah my level 8 synchro gets Imperm which is one 100% fine by me. I can use Tenny Spirit of Dara to also recycle back a Wyrm, Upstart Goblin, which is almost a joke at this point. Uh, Illus illusory, whatever, Sword Master, Bewitching Iris, Special Summoning because my monster's effect are negated. And my opponent is kind of like on top deck mode. Vishuda is a good top deck though, ironically. So I'm going to have to negate. Well, I can destroy it on the summon, the Monk Tenny, so he doesn't have like a vanilla monster to be able to use that Vishuda. And this is obviously not gonna go through. I'm just gonna negate it. And he can not play the game whatsoever. Let's get into the next one. Alright, next game against the exact same guy. I'm going first. Game 2, I went second and I just lost in literally 2 seconds. But yeah, I'm going first. Needle Fiber, he ashes it. I'm like, that's completely fine by me because now my Mohi can completely resolve and I'm going to make that uh, level 8 Synchro, draw 1 card, search, blah blah blah. And then I'm going to level, uh, I'm going to go for the level 6, uh, summon the token and then make Baroness de Fleur, make my opponent lose 1200 life points. Oh, time has been called. <laughs> <laughs> Revive back the level 6 because I want to be able to make a formula synchron and then make a level level 8 synchro So that actually does make sense and yeah, I'm just gonna go, go for it now uh, I think this is where I make Baxia shuffle back because I don't want him to start doing plays with like Vishuda and stuff so he can clear my board and this is like a really good search card But it's not enough to get him here be get him there because I, j I just have way too many interruptions So he's really up against the wall now. Uh, he does have a good card which is Vessel, uh, but the thing is he doesn't have like a non-effect, so he can't do anything with the Yang Zing cards. So unfortunately, that was the ceiling on the wall, and let's jump into the next one. Alright, my opponent actually has Nibiru, and he's going first, so he's making a very small board. I don't know, I w that was a bit, yeah, th that was kind of underwhelming, but at the same time, when you don't have access to Mo Yi, you can't really make the level 8 synchro, so your plays are a bit worse, but whatever. He's going to Ash the first card, so I'm like, uh, that's completely fine, and since I don't have, by the way, a card in the graveyard, this cannot trigger. It has to banish specifically from the opponent's field and graveyard, so I actually played it out perfectly by doing this, and yeah, now I can finally play very well, as long as I make sure I, a card never gets banished, I'm completely fine. I wish Shuda to banish it anyways, so he can't even do anything about it. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be able to do my plays, level 8 synchro to search, and <laughs> this is just way too good, man. I feel like I'm almost cheating this deck. Really, it, like, my, I get nibiru Well, that was the worst timing to nibiru me, by the way. But yeah, I get nibiru and it's completely fine. Recycle back and then special summon, because Nibiru token is actually a non-effect. I don't know why he summoned the Nibiru token in attack. He probably didn't do the maths, but yeah. And even then, it actually wouldn't have mattered because I had, I, I did have the Icarus attack. And then next turn, I can just go like normal 7 Veiler, make the level 8 Synchro, and then just play from there. So that's it, that's all. Let's get into the next one. Thunder Patrol is actually kind of scary, and... Uh, the, 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 the guy definitely didn't break, so Gamma is actually a really, really big one. 
my board is going to be significantly worse but again this deck is so ridiculously good that it doesn't matter uh, this vessel is going to be like the full power vessel where I get to foolish and search which is happy land city and then I can revive back the Tay A banish and then I, I feel like I should have went for Moi instead of Tay A but that's fine whatever uh, actually I think no I already used the effect and uh, it's like a you can only use so yeah that makes sense I actually played that out well that, that's fine that's fine that's fine <laughs> Adara recycle back and then make the level 10 synchro and then make my opponent lose 1200 uh see this is where the link to tenny doesn't really do too much i didn't want yeah i can't really do anything about this desires and yeah all of his plunder patrol plays are sadly going to go through so yeah it's a feels good for him because he has like all the extenders in the world i'm under like serious pressure because i only have like two interruptions but he has a very good hand so he can technically play through two interruptions and kind of like let me um ma make me kind of screw it in a way but yeah you have to negate this other obviously otherwise he makes the fusion and then can start negating my stuff and yeah he still gets to play the game <laughs> makes another morik and then banishes my uh my monster and then he switches the trap attacks over vishuda attacks over monk of the tenyi set one pass and then I still have my negate, which is cool because at least that Morik isn't doing jack. And uh, yeah, he's declaring dark, whatever. I have to negate this again. Otherwise, he draws a card and he has a card in the hand to banish with Morik. And whatever, this, uh, th this, this guy doesn't do literally anything at all. Because without cards in hand, there's no negating any of my cards. And Baxia Shuffle Bag, the field spell, was the way to go. Uh, because now all of his monsters lose a lot of attacks. So I can actually start breaking his boards finally. Instead of actually shuffling back the monsters monsters individually keeping him a follow-up as well that just makes no sense uh, that was when i still play the geo math mech uh, magma uh when it destroys a monster by battle you get to destroy two other cards it's not great but whatever does the job here and uh yeah this actually floats summons from the deck so i, I don't know what i was doing but yeah this yeah it's kind of frustrating but at least i get to destroy the link too and he already used the effects so hey that's good for me and the replay is uh is done though so Let's get into the next one. See, I'm actually proving you to I'm proving to you guys that this deck not only is very resilient, can play through hand traps, but also even if your opponent has a good hand with a lot of extenders, it doesn't matter because you're making so many negates that it, it literally just doesn't matter. And you can play like 10 hand traps in the deck. So uh, yeah, you don't really have to be that afraid of losing the dice roll and having to go second. Obviously, there's still like variants. You can still like just not draw your hand traps and draw them for turn or draw them off of desires when you're going second when you need to to draw like into extenders but uh, it's, it's like it's the game and what can i say at this point uh, yeah my opponent gets like all of his cards negated because it's just uh, it's just like it's just, this is just the way of the shinobi man but he still has that extender so he can still play the game uh, he's actually not that screwed to be completely fair with you at least this was kind of interactive in a way uh, that was a huge waste of a monster he born but he kind of had to crash in order to not let me keep a card on the field so it, it made sense it was a desperate move but it makes sense uh yeah whatever me chaining the trap card at this point doesn't matter because this is undestructible by card effect by banishing card from the grave anyways and my token is very much going to get banished uh he definitely should have banished a card that was a bit more relevant uh, but at the same time it's not the end of the world like my level 8 synchro for example but it's fine because I can still play the game very 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 well uh, I'm going to Vishuda to bounce it back and then summon my level 10 synchro revive back the Tai A and then obviously I never use the effect so I can just summon a level 4 token summon a level another level 4 token make my synchro I never use the effect again so I can search I can foolish Adara and then I can use the effect of Adara recycle back another card and lost connection but basically there was no way for him to win I have a game on board, let's get into the next one. Okay, Zombie World is a pretty good card, right? Because if your opponent has Zombie World, all of your monsters are no longer Wyrm in the grave, so uh, you're kind of forced to start using Zhang Yang card instead of Wyrm. But that's the beauty of this deck, is that it gives you the choice between uh, revealing or banishing Worms or revi reviving Worms or Zhang Yan cards. So even under Zombie World, it's not the end of the world. You still have a bunch of plays at your disposal. And as a matter of fact, you can even argue that this deck could side Zombie World for the Flunderies, because Flunderies is ma uh, loses to Zombie World the same way it loses to Mask of Restrict. So uh, yeah, now we're just going to uh, destroy the opponent because he literally can't do anything at all. I make Dragite, so uh, yeah. 
I'm just... <laughs> it, it, it's, it's just so unfair. Look at the follow-up, man. On turn one, you make negates, and on turn two, you just overwhelm your opponent. So now Banishing doesn't target. I can just drag out negate the Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine and not have to waste my Ash. So even if he magically has Nibiru, I still have a follow-up. I can make Baroness. So again, Nibiru is just out of the question. I destroy Uni Zombie, uh, which is 100% not necessary, but I just want to add insult to injury. Haha, <laughs> that rhymed. Let's get into the next one. I'm going first, and I'm going upstart, draw one card, and then I'm going for the search card, and that's it! I'm just going to win the game here because I get my engine going. So level 8 synchro, search foolish, chain link 1, chain link 2, so Ghost Ogre does not do jack shit to you. It Oh, <laughs> I keep, I'm, I'm just so good at rhyming everything, I'm just so good today, like what's going on? But yeah, Dragite, and then uh, draw one Desires because I'm skillful at the game, and <laughs> discard the trap, summon the token, make Baroness, or literally everything, like anything I want to, make my lose 1200, even if you upstarted, if you make your opponent lose 1200, you still win in time, and then yeah, negate the Swap Frog, is going to be able to bounce, uh, because uh, it's a cost to bounce, which is very unhealthy, healthy and fa unfair, but yeah, I discard and then use the effect again, I have Valor, so it's all good in the hood, and then he's gonna go Desires, this is like the oldest trick in the book, I'm obviously not gonna Ash it, I'm just gonna Dragite, because I know that he's playing Paleozoic and the extenders are kind of just like non-existent, and yeah, bounce back again, but setting back row doesn't help him because I have the trap, and I can also use the effect of uh, Cheng uh, Yang Grand Duke in order to banish the other card, so he cannot play the game whatsoever, let's get into the next one. Alright, I am going second, he is going first, the Paleozoic player, uh, oh, triple desires was rough. I was like, how can you have two cards in hand if you're not setting a monster or not having hand shops? But yeah, do desires into double desires, yeah, that that's definitely, f uh, that, 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 that makes sense. But the thing is, Paleozoic is one of those only decks in the game where desires into double desires isn't like that big of a deal because you can still dino miscus to discard and you can resolve two desires in one game that actually happens but yeah now i actually have my boss monster towers so uh, yeah he's genuinely just not playing the game he cannot out it his only out is having an access code in the extra deck but if i recall correctly yeah he has one but like really if i can just attack you're not gonna be able to do anything so the game's over uh, this just wins game single-handedly. It's that simple. Let's get into the next one. When you play against someone who's better than you, you can't do anything. Desires gets ashed, and then I go effect, he goes gamma, and then I'm like, okay, I still have one final play. Uh, so normal summon, and then use the effect, I get Valorant, I'm like, okay, seriously, three hand shops. Uh, whatever, like, what, what do you want me to say at this point? I would have won through two hand shops, and he tops deck a good card for the long Yuan. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I know I've lost. I've lost. You already can tell that I've lost because I'm on top deck mode, and he has a negate and a hand shop. So, uh, d d d how am I doing anything in top deck a trap? Even if it was a good card, I would have lost completely fine. Let's get into the next one. I'm going first. I don't know if the correct approach is board breaking cards. L look at this man. Desire gets, Desires gets ashed. All good in the hood. I sum summon Shatana, make uh, my needle fiber play, and then he's like, eh, I don't want to ogre this. It's fine. So I summon my Adara, set one back row pass, and then <laughs> this play is already really good. But yeah, uh, Lightning Storm on my Imperm. I ash the Desires because I kind of have to. And this uh, Tay A isn't doing jack. So I'm going uh, Formula Synchron, draw one card. If he attacks over the Monk of the Tenny, the Shatana is actually going to do something really nasty. I top deck for not a good card, but whatever. Uh, crash my monster so I can go Shatana's effect. The reason why I'm doing this to destroy my opponent's monster is because this, I was expecting it to be the trap card that was kind of like the Icarus attack. And I actually did the, ri the right decision here. So now I go Adara's effect to recycle back the Shatana, special summon, and then if I go normal summon Ash, even if that's an Imperm, I still win the game. So my play was very smart. I played around Imperm and the Chris attack by crashing to destroy the monster and then playing the game and the the, the hilarious part here is that he actually could have ogred the Yazi so he was really sleeping ogre on Yazi is very devastating if Yazi gets destroyed on chain link tour higher I do not special summon a monster from the deck so he misplayed very hard here very huge misplay on his end but yeah, now I'm going revealed. He also should have ogred this. I don't know what he's doing. And yeah, chain link one, chain link two. At this point, it's just game over. He was probably under the tilt or something. But yeah, Ghost Ogre is a great hand shot, by the way. I probably might play it again in the future uh, for the next format. But yeah, anyways, let's get into the next one. 
Okay, if someone goes Red Eyes Fusion against you and also has two hand traps in the hand, are you really playing the game? Well, always try to bait the interruptions by making Noodle Fiber first and then going for your normal summon effect and then summon the token, level 8 synchro. You always have to try to do as many actions as you possibly can first. And I just, like I said, keep showing you guys that this deck is very, very resilient and powerful. Doesn't really lose too hard to hand traps. Needle Fiber staying on the field is great because you can banish a card proactively and then obviously you're going to be able to trigger the effect of the Grand Duke. So our, our my opponent is going Red Eyes Fusion to summon Dragoon on the resolution before he has the effect uh, the ability to use the effect to pop my monsters. I have to go Needle Fiber effect. So if he negates with Dragoon, I can still use the effect of Grand Duke to banish the Dragoon and then banish a card because this doesn't target and it doesn't destroy. It banishes. Or if he uh, if he goes um thingy, if he goes uh like doesn't negate the Needle Fiber. I can go Chain Link 1, Zheng Yan, because the Neo Fiber was banished, and then Chain Link 2 for Mila Synchron, and then the Ghost Bell also does nothing here, so he actually should have negated the Neo Fiber, but there was kind of like no way for him to tell, and then yeah, I can uh, now draw one card because he negated that, but the Baroness de Fleur uh, is going to be summoned, and I'm going to be able to banish the Dragoon, so he genuinely cannot play the game, I still have two interruptions, and he's playing not a great deck, and he can't summon, well, I mean, he's playing an okay deck, but... You really have to stack the Dragoon in order to have a chance against Zhang Yan going second, to be fair. Uh, because if you're just going, like, Reveal Magician Souls, you're going to go what? Like, send two spells and traps, I'm gonna go in the gate, and then you're just gonna go, like, pass? Because if you set back row, it's not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna be banishing every single one of your cards. Really doesn't work. Like, you can't go second against Yang Zheng Yang. Uh, but whatever, let's get into the final replay now. Flunderies, how easy or how not easy the matchup is... Uh, it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad if you're going second. I want to say it's a guarantee that you lose. And my opponent even has anti-spell, so half of my hand does nothing. Uh, he has the cross out, but even if he didn't, he probably would have won, honestly, because I think he had the extra normal summon anyways. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wasn't winning this game whatsoever. And because of the Barry statue, my only win condition is normal summoning a card, but when I normal summon something, it turns on the mysterious map. And since he recycles back at least one card, there is a 100% guaranteed of him being able to rise on my normal summon, and obviously I can't normal summon again, so there is legitimately no way of me being able to out Barry statue when my opponent has mysterious map. Literally a 0% chance because Ryza is searchable anyways, and because of the impen and anti spell and all of those other BS cards, it's just so hard, like what am I doing? But yeah, the Flanderies matchup, I wanna say on game 1 is 100% dice roll and hand shop based, it's not skill based, and then on game 2 and 3 it's still not skill based, it becomes side deck based. It's like, if you draw your side deck cards you have a chance, and if you don't, Honestly, it becomes like dice rolly, but yeah, uh, as you can see, my opponent is just popping off. I'm like, whatever, whatever, I mean, I have two spells and two special summon cards, so it's not like I was able to play anytime soon. Flunderies is a really good deck, I want to say they're probably like tied, Flunderies and Zheng Yan, but yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this testing video, really hope you guys were able to enjoy and learn a thing or two. If you did, make sure you like, uh, leave a like and a comment, in the li like, a, com a comment, and a subscribe, that would really motivate me a lot to keep making videos like these, and I'll see you next time, peace.